Hello, I'm Mary Ann Wortley. I work for the Schweitzer branch of the Cobb County Library System. Today I will be reading from the book, Ronan the Librarian. Ronan was a mighty barbarian. He invaded, he raided, and back home he traded. He always found the greatest treasures. Until one day, Ronan found something no barbarian wants, a book. How did Ronan the Barbarian become Ronan the Librarian? Let's find out. Ronan the Librarian by Tara Luby and Becky Caddy. Ronan was a mighty barbarian, a leader of his people. He invaded, he raided, and back home he traded. Ronan was legendary for finding the best pillage, gold, jewelry, weapons, and tools. Everyone wanted to trade with him. Everyone wanted to trade with him until one raid went horribly wrong. What is this? He roared. This is worthless. Ronan tried to barter, but no one would make a deal. Barbarians didn't read books. Ronan took the book home. Oof da, what am I going to do with this useless thing? Kindling? Or ajami? Toilet paper, yeah, that's it. Then a picture caught his eye. Ronan read the first sentence, then a paragraph, then a page. Before he knew it, he had devoured the entire chapter. He read until the moon was high in the sky. The next day, Ronan didn't meet the raiding party. He must have overslept, said Krom. Let's go wake him. Ronan, you Dunga, what are you doing? asked Gunnar. Ronan, you Dunga, I'm reading, Ronan said. This book is epic. Do you want to borrow it? Have you gone berserk? Barbarians don't read. We raid, said Helgi. Look at that. His friends were right. Ronan tucked the book away and went raiding, like a good barbarian. But he couldn't stop thinking about the book. When the raid was over, he charged home and read straight through to the end. Ronan was hooked. He needed a new book. So he invaded, he raided, and he read. He invaded and raided and read. He invaded and raided and read. The fierce raider became a fierce reader and soon his massive collection threatened to devour him. So Ronan came up with a solution to tame the beast. He built a library. He even threw a grand opening celebration. But barbarians do not read books. Krom judged the books by their cover. Too sparkly, too kissy, too wimpy. Gunnar valued brawn over brains. Reading doesn't have a point. Spears have points. Helgi was too busy to read. How could Ronan get his people to see that books were treasures? Ufda, I must conquer my own village, he declared. He picked up his book 
held it high, and began to read aloud. The troll roared as Odin snatched the urn of Unkar and raced to his ship. The crew rowed out to sea when out of the depths rode the terrifying Kraken. Olden held onto the urn for dear life as he drew his sword. But the shipbuilders continued sawing, the blacksmiths didn't stop hammering, and the potters kept on spinning their wheels. It was a crushing defeat. At daybreak, Ronan went to his library. Ufta! I've been invaded! I wonder who's in there. Oh my goodness! And raided! What was in the urn? Did he clobber the Kraken? Did Odin do next? It was his greatest victory yet. The library was full of barbarians. Ronan quickly laid down the law. He issued library cards, he recommended books, and he read to the younglings. It turns out, barbarians do read books. Ronan was a mighty librarian, a leader of his people. They invaded. They raided. They read.